In the sleepy town of Maud Mall, nestled deep within the countryside, there stood a tree like no other. Barry Wigan, the infamous Wigan tree. Barry wasn't just any tree. He was rumored to possess mystical powers, granting wishes to those who whispered their desires to his ancient bark. Among the regular visitors to Barry's twisted branches was a peculiar character named Kig. Kig was an eccentric dreamer with a penchant for conspiracy theories and a bizarre obsession with Barry's supposed abilities. As Kig spent his days muttering strange incantations beneath Barry's gnarled limbs, the townsfolk whispered tales of the enemy of Wigan, a shadowy figure hell-bent on eradicating Barry and his perceived influence over Maud Mall. Unbeknownst to Kig, his obsession with Barry led him down a rabbit hole of bizarre discoveries. He unearthed faded photographs of his great-great-grandfather, who seemed to share an eerie resemblance to Barry himself, dating back to the year 1256. But the more Kig dug into Barry's origins, the stranger things became. He stumbled upon ancient texts describing the Wigan trees as descendants of Rowans and Mountain, ashes, plants that thrived in Earth's barren deserts billions of years ago. In his quest for knowledge, Kig encountered a peculiar plant known as the coffee berry, a distant cousin of the Wigan trees, which grew slowly and bore beautiful berries. Little did Kig know, the berries held a dark secret, a twisted truth hidden among their luscious facade. Determined to unravel the mysteries surrounding Barry Wigan, Kig sought the wisdom of the tumbler, an enigmatic sage rumored to reside among the green holly and red berries. But as Kig delved deeper into the town's secrets, he realized that the enemy of Wigan was none other than himself, trapped in a nightmarish loop of his own making. Barry's wishes twisted reality, warping the fabric of time and space, ensnaring Kig in a dark and twisted game of fate. And so, as the twisted branches of Barry Wigan reached out to claim their next victim, the townsfolk watched in horror as Kig disappeared into the depths of his own madness, a cautionary tale of the dangers of meddling with forces beyond comprehension.